What's up guys, how you doing today? So today I'm gonna to talk about money and Colombian money and tips on how to use them, what to do and how much to take out of your apartment, your hotel when you go on the streets for the day. I'm basically gonna show you my wallet, what I do and what I take out in the streets. First of all, I'm in, a, I'm in a new mall where I own a commercial spot, a kiosk, and I have someone interested in buying my kiosk, which is great. I, went, I just did a video explaining this whole thing. He's interested, he has to confirm. If anybody's interested in buying, let me know. Send me an email, my email's in my description if you guys wanna buy a commercial spot here in Medellin, Colombia. Anyways, first tip, you don't wanna leave your house with a lot of money, all right? I had, there was this one guy that came to Medellin, he was too afraid to leave his money in the hotel. Yeah, I think he like exchanged almost 800 to a thousand dollars worth of uh, US dollars to pesos. He took all that money out with him, went for a drink. Unfortunately, he got robbed. All his money was taken, his credit card, everything was taken from him. So don't do that. What I do, first, first and foremost, first and foremost, um, Colombia is a cash culture. It's going in the, in the direction of using credit cards. There are more places that, places that accept credit cards and debit cards but still not everywhere accepts it okay so i always take cash you gotta learn how to use cash too many foreigners don't know how to use cash they don't know how to use coins all right so what i do when i leave my my house for the day it depends on what i'm doing that day if it's just a normal day i'm taking from 60 to 100 dollars you 100 us dollars worth of pesos so that's from whatever that is divided by 4060 or 60 times 4000 or 100 times 4000 is 400,000 so from like 250 I'm just guessing 1000 pesos to 400,000 pesos all depending okay that's what I take out for a normal day if I'm going out with my girlfriend and it's a special occasion it's like I'm taking her for movies and then nice restaurant and maybe buy her a gift at a store or we're going to go buy some clothes or whatever it is I'm going to take out maybe 500,000 pesos so it goes from 4,000 to 5,000, but that 100,000 pesos, it doesn't sound like a lot more in dollars, but it's quite a bit in pesos. If I'm gonna be traveling like for a weekend or whatever, I might take 600,000 pesos if I'm going to a Pueblo. Now that being said, I'm pretty, you can say frugal, you can say smart with your money, my money, you can say cheapskate, whatever you wanna call me, I don't care, but I don't, tend to spend that much money. I'm very good about being happy without having to buy things. I'm very happy with just sitting down with a bottle of water and just watching people walk by. And unfortunately, my girlfriend is the same way. She's not that big of a spender, <laughs> all right? Actually, I did a consultation the other day where a guy was like, I, I, I wanna bring $2,000, he's coming for a week, and he wanted to bring, spend $2,000 in a week. I'm like, and my first thought was, dude, you're gonna have a hard time spending $2,000 a week, but maybe, some people are able to do that. Let me know in the comments, if whoever's been here in Colombia, Medellin, if spending $2,000 in a week is doable here. I would have a hard time. But here you go. So here's what I have in my wallet. All right, so basically what you wanna do is you wanna have multiple, uh, is it called denominations? Like the, the, the multiple amounts of currency. Like for example, the biggest currency that Colombia has right now is a hundred thousand pesos is this all right this came out maybe three years ago or so or two years ago i'm not sure when but only until now is when i started seeing this more often they had it in the banks but they never gave it on the atms the other day i went to go pull out my money from my atm and i'll give you a tip on, on atms i got stuff in a moment stay tuned for that but i'm looking around because i'm seeing this person here <laughs> the, the janitor um so the 100,000 pesos. The other day I went to the ATM, I pulled out money and they gave me all 100,000 pesos. So now I have to use it. And you never use these big bills. So it's 100,000 and the next big bill is 50,000. You never use th these two big bills in mom and pop stores. You never go to a mom and pop store or to a mom and pop restaurant and try to pay the bill with this. All right. You can, there's exceptions. If for example, you spend, you go in a, with like four or five people and your total bill comes out to be around 70,000 pesos or 80,000 pesos, yeah, use 100,000 bill because their change is only gonna be 20,000. But if you're only spending 10,000 pesos and you try to break 100,000 there, they're not gonna like you. Either they're gonna tell you they can't break it or they're just gonna break it, but they're not gonna like you. And the reason why is because you're taking all their change. And again, this is a cash culture, okay? So you got the 100,000 bill, 
at where you need to use this. I use this, for example, when I went and I got my Metro card filled, I just put a, and I use the Metro a lot. That, for you guys coming for like five days, don't do this. For you guys coming to live here and you want to use the Metro a lot to save money and also it's a, it's a good experience. And also you can save time because when it's traffic, the Metro goes faster, like traffic and cars. I just put a full 100,000 pesos on it. Before I had 100,000 pesos, I would have just put a full 50,000 pesos on the Metro from a Metro card. The other places you can use these, this money is going to the grocery stores. But I'm talking about the big grocery stores, the uh, franchise place like La Vaquita or El Exito or Carulla. The big place, you know the big places versus like the, the mini market, neighborhood mini market. Don't, don't do that there. You could get by with the 50,000, but it's pushing it, okay? The other place you can use this to break are the fancy restaurants. You go to a, a super fancy restaurant, Poblao, and your in your tickets close to like above fifty thousand, you can use these. All right. What's the other things? Uh, when you go buy uh, bus tickets at the terminal, like a bus to go from city to city, you can use these big ones. So those kind of places. Anyway, so what I do is I usually when I go out, I usually have one hundred thousand. I have about three fifty thousands. Okay, and these are like my my emergency money. Um, I use them. I whenever I have a chance to break it, I do it. If I'm in a grocery store and I'm buying like a piece of gum or whatever it is, like a major grocery store, I always break these just to have more change, like more broken, like smaller bills. But I always carry these big bills with me because back in the day, my dad, when I was younger, in the states, my dad always told me, always have a hundred dollar bill on you. You know, this was back in the '90s when a hundred dollars went a far away in the states. Now. I don't think $100 goes that far in the States anymore, but back in the day, having a $100 bill on your on your person, any kind of emergency you needed, that $100 would get you out of it. So I always take my dad's advice and I carry big bills like this with me, but not too many. Then I would have, let's see, one, two, I got three 20s. So I got three 20s, I got one 10, but normally I'll carry like one or two, one to three tens. I have one five, normally I'll carry one to three fives, and I'll have two twos. So normally I carry like two to four twos, all right? And then I have my chains like on the on the counter where I live and I just I just grab a handful of change. I just grab a handful of change. And whenever I'm buying something, whenever I'm buying something, and it, say for example, when I went to breakfast and the breakfast today was uh, 8,000 pesos, I would get, for example, I paid with a five and then I got 3,000 coins. I had quite a bit of coins, but if I didn't have that much coins, then I'll pay with a five, a two, and then I'll count like um, 200 pesos. I'll count, uh, was it four? Like, no, five of them. Get five 200 pesos to get a thousand. That way I'm using my coins. Again, you want to learn how to use your coins. I told this story before, but I had a friend that, lived, that was staying in Medellin for six months, and he, at the end of six months, he had a literally a bag full of coins because he didn't know how to use his coins to spend for stuff. And he told me, David, what do I do with these coins? I said, look, give them to me. And he gave them to me, and I literally ate lunch off those coins for a week. When I went to, it was a mom and pop restaurant. Every time I went, they loved me because they knew I was coming and paying 100% coins. There's prank videos in the States. I think it was like Tom Green or whatever uh, back in the day that, used to, that went to a pawn shop and tried to buy a guitar with all pennies, and like he got kicked out. If you did that here, like buying a big thing with all coins, they would love you, they would love you they want you to do it again, okay? So that's the difference here, the cash culture versus the credit card culture. And the other thing I would advise is, hold on, I always, I always, when I put it in like this, I have the 100 and the two. I always fold it this way, like this, to where it's showing the 2,000, okay? The 2,000, and I put it here. So that way when someone sees my, my bills, they just see a bunch of twos, normally my someone told me actually a colombian gave me a good good tip is to have your money like this and then have like some small change up away from your wallet that when you when you're going to pay something like small like you're buying a coke or whatever you just pull out the small bills like maybe a, a 20 10 and a five and you get the five and you pay the, the the drink that way if anybody's watching you they say okay this dude doesn't have that much money but if you pull out a big old wad of cash like like this which is not that much of a big wad but you pull it out and a thief sees that, okay, I wanna, I wanna steal from him because he has a big wad of cash. The other thing, the other reason why I, and I counted this before I, I started the film, I think it's like 325,000 pesos. The reason why I take out this much money as well, 60 to 100,000 is one, I know that no matter what happens in the day, I'll have enough money to, to get, to pay for it. 
Second, if someone's gonna rob me, I want them to be happy. I want them to be happy that they got enough money. I've heard of situations, I'm not sure if it's true, but I've heard that thieves have um, robbed someone, they only have like maybe 2,000 pesos on them, and the thief was frustrated and beat them up, okay? I'm not sure if it happened in Colombia or whatever. Again, I'm not sure if it's true, I just heard about it. The other thing is, um, yeah, like I said, I want them to be happy they got enough money and that they did a good job, you know, a, day, a good day's work. And I'm using parentheses and like being sarcastic, right? I hate thieves, but that's just part of it. There's a cost of living everywhere. And the cost of living here in Colombia is just, there's a risk of being robbed. Anyways, there's the video. I just gave you a brain up all about money here in Colombia and tips and all that kind of stuff. Let me know what you guys think about in the comments and, and tell some stories in the comments, man.